For over half a century, Toyota's Hilux pickup has powered people to this planet's most remote locations, tackling every type of terrain and overcoming almost every kind of obstacle. This much improved take on the 8th generation version has been significantly updated with a classier cabin and the option of a gutsier 2.8 litre engine. But don't worry, it's as tough as ever. Many of today's pickup customers want an LCV like this for daily tarmac use and some even now want it to function as their only means of transport. As a result, Toyota knew that this Mark 8 model Hilux had to become more car-like in its feel on tarmac, yet managed that without compromising the previous model's core values of tough, go-anywhere capability. Have they managed that? Well, the redesigned suspension is still leaf-sprung, so it can't match the ride quality of Nissan's rival coil-sprung Navara. A whole package of uh, damping changes, though, have delivered a big improvement, and previous buyers will note the uh, smoother way that this pickup now handles secondary root tarmac undulations, and that's something that's aided by a clever pitch and bounce control system. Now, that automatically adjusts engine torque to suit the road surface. Sharper, more accurate steering, that helps too. Plus, uh, surprising levels of engine refinement, they make highway trips less of a chore. Ah yes, engines, well you need to know about those because there is now a choice. Toyota has added to the range the 2.8 litre D4D diesel that we're trying here. It offers up to 500 newton meters of torque and around a third more power than the continuing 148 bhp 2.4 litre diesel unit. There's no efficiency downside in choosing the 2.8D powertrain either. This engine is capable of up to 33.2 mpg on the combined cycle and up to 224 grams per kilometre of CO2. Both power plants can be had with either a six-speed manual gearbox or the six-speed Super ECT automatic transmission that we're trying here, uh, the response of which has been improved. As for off-road prowess, well, that's better than ever, thanks to the addition of an automatic electronic control system. Now, this replicates the effect of a mechanical limited slip differential to give better traction and acceleration on low-grip surfaces. Plus, the idling speed has been lowered, uh, accelerator response has been retuned, and a new tyre angle dash monitor has been added to help you keep better track of where the front wheels are pointed. As before, there is a part-time four-wheel drive system that operates in rear-driven two-wheel drive on tarmac, but you can shift on the move into the H4 high-range four-wheel drive setting at speeds of up to 31 miles an hour, should conditions worsen or you be about to turn onto a muddy track. For really, really boggy off-road work, though, you're going to want to consider the further possibility of switching into L4 low range. Again, something that's possible on the move, but this time at much lower speeds of up to 5 miles an hour. The Hilux is designed to tackle the toughest off-road conditions. Double cab models are capable of a 29 degree approach angle, 26 degrees of departure angle and uh, 310 millimetres of ground clearance. It's also capable of wading to a depth of 700 millimetres and it can tow up to 3.5 tonnes. All good to know. As with all the toughest pickups, you perch up high, bearing down on ordinary road users with authority. Nothing's really changed about the fundamental design of this cabin, but the Japanese brand has taken the opportunity to upgrade the Toyota Touch 2 central infotainment screen here, which is now 8 rather than 7 inches in size and which comes as standard, providing you avoid entry-level trim. This display also gets faster software and screen response, and at last it incorporates Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. Otherwise, uh, things are much as before. There's dual-tone leather upholstery on this top-spec model, but even here, hard-wearing plastics on the dashboard and on the door cards remind you that this is very much a working vehicle. Although Toyota has tried to lift things a bit with silvered touches and piano black plastic. Time to take a seat in the back. Uh, this rear bench was redesigned back in 2015 to give more thigh and back support. So medium length journeys back here are okay. As for the bay itself, well, it remains one of the wider ones in the segment with a maximum deck width measuring 1,645 millimetres. 
As for the weight that you can carry, well, in active guys, this double cab can take a payload of up to 1,030 kilos. It's interesting to note that our market now buys around 20% more pickups than sports cars, a trend we expect to grow. In an era of camera speed restrictions and emissions legislation throttling the beating heart out of performance engines, customers are turning to fresh forms of weekend driving enjoyment. And the adventurous go-anywhere surf shack pickup lifestyle is undeniably appealing, as well as being tax efficient and practical. If you find that argument attractive, we think that you'll find this Toyota's interpretation of it to be particularly convincing. The changes made to this improved 8th generation model have made it a slightly more practical day-to-day -day tarmac tool, but never far below the surface is the rugged toughness that has taken this vehicle to the furthest and the most inhospitable parts of the globe. Are there any real issues here? Well, a few. Other rivals are certainly a touch more efficient. Uh, the frugality of this model's 2.4 litre and 2.8 litre diesel engines is rather masked by this Hilux's prodigious weight. And on the subject of engines, the arrival of a 2.8 litre engine option as part of this facelift will play a particularly important role in widening this Toyota's appeal. It's difficult to understand why this power plant wasn't often from launch. Uh, now, though, it's the engine that you'd really want in this pickup. From Alaska to the Sahara to the Australian outback, this is the vehicle of choice for people who need to get the job done. Drive one and you'll see why.